me here. I'm not comfortable with this place, so... But you know I don't like heights. I feel horrible here on this roof. Honey, please let's go back to the campus. Come on, baby. You don't have to be afraid. Oh. You think I'm your right? See, I see you don't even trust my love. Why are you talking like this now? It's just that I simply don't like heights. I'm badly frightened. But with me, you don't have to. Okay, okay, see. Remember Rose and Jack in Titanic? <laughs> yes. Good. So, believe and have faith in my love. See, Janet, I have brought you here to test my love for you. I really want to know how much you love me. And I do hope you will pass my test. <laughs> Your test? Yeah. Of course I will. Say, Fuga. There is something you don't know. I love you so much. And I shall love you till the end of time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, give me a kiss. Baby. <laughs> so, do you really trust my love? 100%. I see. Okay. Now, I want you to close your eyes for a moment. And forget <laughs> you are on a great height like this. Okay. For, let's say, half a minute. Then, I shall confirm <laughs> your faith and your trust in my love. <laughs> so, are you ready? <laughs> Is that all? Sure. <laughs> That's a very simple one. I see. I've already passed the test. Okay. Fuga, do you know that for your sake, I could close my eyes, standing on top of the tallest building in the world? Hmm. Uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, now close your eyes. All right. Close it now. Close it very well. Eyes closed. And make sure <laughs> you don't open it. Okay. All right. Make sure you don't open it. Are you tiny? <laughs> Close it very well. Close Eyes it. closed. Very closed. Make sure you don't open it. <laughs> yeah, close it very well. And make sure you don't open it. Oh. Oh. All right. Make sure you don't open your eyes.
afraid she's in very critical condition. Her skull and spinal cord have been severely damaged, which makes her chance of survival difficult. A team of our best doctors and surgeons are presently doing everything in their power to save her life. But her chances are slim. So, Doctor, how long will it take the medical team to come out of the definite result? Maybe in two hours or so, then we shall be able to determine a chance of survival. But for now, it's difficult to say. And, um, officer, have you found out who, who the girl is? Oh, yes. She's Janet, a student at the Lagos State University, and the daughter of Chief Thomas Dega and Justice Mrs. Mimi Dega. They've been informed and they should be here any moment from now. The sad news is that that girl is their only child. My God. And that's why you and your colleagues must do its best to make sure she survives. We will do everything we can. We'll do everything we can. But as I said, it's difficult to say now. The worst is that she tried to commit suicide. Suicide? We found this suicide note in her pocket. Which states clearly that she committed suicide. This is so sad. So sad. But how do I tell the Degas family? How do I tell the Degas that their only child their only daughter committed suicide. This is so sad. So very sad. Oh, God. So sad. Oh, my God. My God. Hey. my daughter and where is she? Uh, please come down, ma'am. The doctor will soon be here to tell us her true position. A team of doctors and surgeons are presently attending to her. But the preliminary report we have is that she's on a critical condition. Thomas, did you hear that? You won't let anything happen to her only child, will you? It's all you right. Let it's all right. right. Child. Please, just calm down. Huh? Everything will be okay, okay? Okay. Good. Now, tell us. What really happened? Have you found the person who, who, who pushed her down? I am afraid not, Chief. We are not certain that her daughter was pushed down. But we have reason to believe that she pushed herself down. What do you mean? My Lord, uh, this might not be nice to the ears. It appears your daughter tried to commit suicide. Suicide? It's unthinkable. She would never think of a thing like that. I uh, will talk as much, my lord. But this note prevents us from doubting it. We found this suicide note in her pocket, which was addressed to me. Is that not a handwriting? We were able to compare the notes and the handwriting in that notebook. And then we came to the conclusion that the suicide note was authentic. That is a handwriting, all right, but she, she couldn't do such a thing. <sighs> Dear Daddy and Mommy, I must be dead by the time you get this note. I just want to let you know that I have taken my life by this act. I do not mean to offend or wrong you in any way. I am simply tired of life, hence I have decided to put an end to this miserable life. I no longer want to live in this sinful world. 
I do appreciate all your love and care. I'm really very sorry that I have disappointed you. Take heart. I love you, Daddy and Mommy. Your daughter, Janet Deka. Oh my God. No. There's no way she would have thought of committing suicide. She had no reason. She got all she ever desired. Her wish was our command. I mean, she can do this to us. Mary, you're right, you're right. Oh, yes, doctor. How is my daughter? Where is she? Will you say something, please? Her spinal cord was broken in six places. Her skull also was severely damaged. Uh, yes, uh, can we see her now? I'm so? sorry, she couldn't make it. She, she's dead. I'm so sorry. for heights is becoming frightening. Mommy, I said it gives me horrors. If I'm a ass, mom, why did you choose to take a flat on the last floor instead of the ground floor? Janet, mom, I think it's high time I tell you. I get bad dreams whenever I'm sleeping on a height like this. I feel I'm falling down. Oh, no, darling, you're not falling down. I am here with you. Nothing is going to happen. If you feel that way about it, um, I'll do something about it. Hmm? <laughs> okay, well, let's go in and um, I'll tell you what I want. I thought we'd been through. Mr. Teaser, can you tell me what the police is doing about my daughter's murder? My lord, I thought we'd been through this. This is an open and closed case. Your daughter died a suicide death. That is the police opinion, not mine. I do not agree with you, Mr. Teaser. I do not believe my daughter committed suicide. Well, you have a suicide note with you, written in a handwriting which you identified. She might have been called into writing that, or even the murderer could have forged it in her handwriting. I am certain that she was pushed down. Well, Madam, how can you prove this point? Otherwise, the entire police believe your daughter committed suicide. Her phobia for heights. She never liked heights. 
she would never have committed suicide from the last floor of the hotel building. Her phobia for heights compelled me to move from my previous apartment, which was on the last floor of a story building. There's no way she would have thought of suicide like that. Except, um, I mean, she rather would have taken poison or something else. But my lord... Besides, she was our only child. We treasured her. Her wish was our command. She had no reason to commit suicide. Not even in a million years. Well, um, Jeanette could have had other reasons for committing suicide. I mean, reason undisclosed to you. Not at all. But uh, have you cared to find out why she chose the hotel as a venue to commit suicide? She was never one to patronize hotels, not for their food or accommodation, unless on trips. Madam, your daughter might have preferred a neutral ground for attention instead of the university hostel or you at home. No, Mr. Teaser. For God's sakes, the hotel authorities claimed her name was not on the guest list. How could she have gained entrance into the hotel, gone to the last floor on the hotel, jumped from that floor without being noticed? Well, certainly she must have sneaked to the last floor. Well, it only goes to show that the police is no longer willing to carry out further investigation into this case. Oh, my lord, I'm sorry. That is where we are stuck. Our theme of investigation proved that your daughter committed suicide. And there's nothing further we can do about this case. This is an open and close fight. I'll see to that. No matter, I better take my leave. until my daughter's murder has been punished. I will not sit back and fold my arms and watch injustice being done to her. The criminal must be found and prosecuted. You still believe that Janet was murdered after police findings? They need to do a lot more. The police haven't even found anything yet. Mimi. You are aware that the police have opened and closed the fire. I'll see the police commissioner tomorrow and I'll put some pressure on him to reopen the case. I've got to make him see reason why this case has to be revisited. Look, Mimi, why don't you just leave all the states? My daughter is dead and buried, and I believe that there is nothing you're going to do that will bring her back. So why don't you stop all these, your findings and probings? I will not. Thomas, I will not. I can't! She is my daughter. I gave birth to her. I can't just watch someone kill her and get away with it. I will get her justice even in her death. Well, you can do whatever you want to do. You are a judge. If somebody really murdered my daughter and the murderers are found and prosecuted, as far as I'm concerned, it's fine by me.
Mimi, not to worry, okay? I'm in full support of your fight for justice over your late daughter. So, when do you intend to see the police commissioner? Uh, tomorrow morning. Okay, that's good. Well, I'm afraid I have to leave now, but I'll see you much later in the day, okay? Promise you'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Yes. Justice Dega. Good day, Mr. Commissioner. You're welcome. Sit down. Thank you. I must first of all sympathize with you on the death of your daughter. Please accept my heartfelt sympathy. Thank you very much, Mr. Commissioner, for your concern. You were so early to my office this morning. I feel strange and first of its kind. This is the first time, I mean, since I became the CP. You are right, Mr. Commissioner. I've never really had reasons to visit you in the past. But I do believe that I have good enough reasons to justify my being here. So, now that you are here, how may I help my lord? I am here in connection with the um, investigation into the death of my daughter. And I must say that I am completely dissatisfied at the way your men have carried out investigations as regards to my daughter's death. I do believe that she was murdered. I guess against uh, the conclusion your men made that she committed suicide. But, but the, the investigations just revealed that she did. The police had no other reason to further the investigations. The OC crime has done his best, and his best is satisfactory to the police command. Mr. Commissioner, may I request that you reopen this case. I have strong convictions to believe that my daughter was murdered. Madam, do you have any other reasons apart from the one discussed with the OC crime? Because they are not strong enough to reopen a case file. Mr. Commissioner, my daughter, Jenneth, to the best of my knowledge, would have found it easier to poison herself than to jump from such great heights. She was afraid of such heights. She had a phobia for heights, and she had no reason whatsoever to want to commit suicide. She was greatly treasured by us. She was an only child. I want you to see reason why this case has to be revisited. Your men claim that they found a note in her pocket, but that note could have been forged by her murderer. And if at all she wrote it, I do want to believe that she was tricked into doing so. You've got to see reason with me why this case has to be revisited. My daughter was murdered, and the culprit must not go unpunished. Madam, I am really sorry for being unable to grant this request, judged by the reasons before me. However, if in the future you have reasons, justified reasons, the police will not hesitate to give you a listening ear. Well, uh, I must take my leave now. Uh, yes, I'm really sorry. I've offended you in the course of my duty. I'm really sorry about that. Do have a nice day and thanks for your time. Have a nice day.
Well, Mimi, I think I know the right man for the job, Mr. Martin's dent. A retired police CID officer. But due to his great efficiency in detective jobs, he started running a private investigation office soon after his retrenchment from the police. Oh, yes. I think I do remember him. But I haven't seen him in a long time. Where is he now? Well, he relocated when the police back here were no longer comfortable with what he was doing. They actually said they didn't want him in Nigeria, so he's presently staying in South Africa. I think that is the man we need. I think so too. Let's go into the car. Mm -hmm. Let's get some points straight here, Justice Dega. Did your daughter have enemies? None that I know of. I, I doubt if she had any at all. Close friends? You see, Janet distanced herself from friends, saying friends were bad influence. So that implies that uh, she had no boyfriend, no lover? Mr. Dent, my daughter, to the best of my knowledge, had no boyfriend or lover. In fact, she was a born-again Christian, and she dare not try that. That sounds strange. No lover, no boyfriend, no enemies. Hm. What an isolated life she must have lived. She seemed to be a very good girl. 
I see no reason why anybody would murder her or why she would commit suicide. But don't worry, madam. It's all part of my job to unravel the mystery. I'll do my best. Please do. I do not want the murderer of my daughter to go unpunished. Certainly, if at all she was murdered. Of course she was. I am certain she was murdered. Not to worry. Well, will there be anything you'll be needing in the course of um, this year investigation? Well, basically for now, a car, nothing more, maybe later. Okay. Well, as soon as I get home now, I'll send the chauffeur back with the car. And um, if there's any other thing in future that you'll be needing in the course of this, your investigations, please do not hesitate to let me know. I will. So, um, where do you intend to start first? Well, I intend to pay a visit to the Plaza Hotel, the scene of the alleged murder. That's how I like to start from. Okay. Well, if that is it, then I must be on my way now. To have a lovely day. You too.
All right. Are you sure Miss Janet Degger did not lodge in this hotel that day? Think well. I'm very sure, sir. And I already told you that. The police also know this much. Think carefully. She might have lodged here with someone else or by herself under a different name. I doubt if she did. At least I would have remembered her face. I hardly forget faces in a hurry. Then you should have remembered seeing her come into this hotel or to the rooftop. Since, like you said, you don't forget faces. Well, I don't ever recall seeing her in this case. See, I really can't explain how she found her way in here and up to that rooftop. <gasps> okay. Is there any other way into this hotel illegally? No, this is the only way into the hotel. Then you should have remembered seeing her come into this hotel because you were here and her killer was also in this place. Because you were here and her killer was here. I don't remember anything. Who are they? Do you know them? Who? They? No, I don't know them. They are not our guests. I just wonder something so familiar about that guy's face. I regret not seeing his face. But I mean, hey, that's by the way. Can I take a look at your register? I, I, I need to cross-check your September 11 guests. I'm very sorry, sir, but our records here are strictly confidential. Our guests have accorded maximum protection against unnecessary inquiries. As a matter of policy, our documents could only be exposed to the police when it becomes pertinent, but definitely not to a private investigator. Thank you. I I should be on the run now. But I will pop in if the need arises. Thanks for taking so much of your time. Not to worry, sir. I'm always here. Some other time. here with Plaza Hotel. I understand you're looking for the killer of a certain girl called Janet. I have information about a man that brought her to the hotel the day she died. I believe he has a hand in her there because he really looked dangerous. Who is he and how do I get him? Honey, nothing goes for nothing. I can only give you the information if you can scratch my back. How much do you want? Look, I don't, it's important we shouldn't be sitting together, okay? Can you meet me at La Rosum Bar tonight at 8pm? Sir. Yes, Inspector. I don't really understand what Martins Dent could be doing in the city for now. Martins Dent? Yes. The dismissed officer who now runs FM in South Africa? That's right, Inspector. He flew in from Johannesburg a few days ago. And for now, no one knows exactly what his mission is in the city. But I know one thing. The Martins Dent doesn't go anywhere 
unless it's an assignment. Could it mean he is here in connection with the death of Janet? Chief Thomas Degas' daughter. That seems very obvious. Uh, yes, but Zegi, I also thought along those lines. Because the way Justin Mimi Dega has been going around mounting pressure on the police to reopen a late daughter case file has been so alarming. And you could guess what she could do now that she has finally been torn down by the CP. Sir, we can now be more certain. Every indication points to the same fact. Yes. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed for now. And let's see what it's up to. But if really is here on a private investigation mission, then bad times are with him. I dislike private dykes. I hate to see them around my territory. I dislike them like hell. And I force them out fast. And I don't think Martin's Dent is an exceptional. You may go, Inspector. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Take what she's taking. Okay, sir. Thank you. So, how much are you willing to give for the information? Well, if you name names and give me specific uh, places of contact, I shall pay you 20,000 naira. 20 what? Come on. That's too small. I will tell you specific names, places of contact. I know that guy is very dangerous, and he knows the thing about Janet's death. He has a very dangerous setup, too. And I believe you yourself, you're on a very dangerous assignment searching for him. So, how much do you want? Well, I could do with 50,000 men, or nothing else. I can't risk my life with a price lower than that. If not for my mother's medical bill, I shouldn't be doing this at all. All right. Agreed. We settled for 50. Good. You're starting a nice guy to deal with. Yes. Maybe after her, you can just come and know where I stay. How about that? Jesus Christ! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mother. What's the meaning of this nonsense? I'm sorry, sir. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, please. Please, I'll remove those things, please. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Please, where's your ladies? This way, ma'am. I'm sorry. I won't be a mom. Okay, please, it's okay, I'll do it next time.
A lady has just been kidnapped in my hotel. Look, I'm very busy. Can you go and see the receptionist, please? What? I said a lady has just been kidnapped in this hotel and possibly murdered. And you're telling me you're too busy to react to that? How do you know this lady has been kidnapped and probably murdered? Are you a seer? Look, let me tell you. This hotel is well protected. We have our security personnel all over the place. Such a thing cannot happen here. Well, look. The attacker smashed the bathroom mirror and there's blood spotted over and everywhere. I trust the trickles down to the doorstep of room 5 in this hotel. Room 5? Look, are you very sure of what you are saying? Of course I'm sure of what I'm saying, Mr. Manager. Why don't you come and look at it yourself? All right, um, let's go to room 5. We'll pick up the key from the receptionist. Let's go. Must have been hallucinating, gentlemen. No, no, something is wrong. Something is wrong. Everything must have been fixed. No. I'm a very busy man. I can't have you waste my time. No, something is really amiss here and it's beginning to get on my nerves. I think this is a setup. Look, can you please open this door so I can be sure? I will open the door, but you must know that this is the last chance I am giving you. The last chance.
Now I have lost my patience, Mr. Ma! I can't have you waste my time! Mr. Dent, how are you and your new assignment as the Chief Investigating Officer of Ginodega's murder? Why are you silent? Talk to me! Talent to the Chief Detector, investigating an open and closed suicide case of Thomas Degas' daughter. Now look, Mr. Dent. This case is an open and closed file, as far as the police is concerned. And you cannot just come from nowhere and open can once, thereby denting the image of the police. You know how I badly hate to see private eyes around my territory, interfering with police affairs. We've gone through all this before. And what makes you think you would be welcome. I warn you, you must fly back immediately to wherever you come from. And any further pursuance of this case will prove costly for you. And that is if you want my trouble. And I know you don't want my trouble. I give you 48 hours to leave this city or you face the trouble of the police. This is the last time I will be telling you this, Mr. Dent. information about the guy that attacked Rosa. I'm willing to give you 10,000 naira if you can give me more information. This guy is very dangerous. 10,000 naira isn't good enough. Why not give me 20,000 naira for me to be able to take the risk? Are you sure of what you're saying? You sound so confident. Yes. Okay. Don't pay me any cobble. When you're through with the information, you give me my money. Okay? My manager is coming. See me this evening, 10 p.m. at number 10, Takaway, okay? Oh, Mr. Dent. Yes, I just rose from a court session. Yes, I'm heading to my chambers now. Oh, no, not to worry. I shall make sure I provide you with just about enough money to carry out the investigation. There is nothing I will not do 
to make sure that your job is successful. I shall send you the money immediately. Oh, that is a nice beginning. Please do keep up the pace. All right, Mr. Dent. I'll talk to you then. Bye. Yes. This is a wonderful beginning. I like the pace. With the way he's moving, I know that my daughter's murderer is not too far away. Mr. Dent is definitely the man for the job. Um, where is my orderly? Welcome to my world, Mr. Detective. I was beginning to think you won't turn up again. Why? You thought wrongly, ma. Do you have a set? Thank you. Whiskey or cigarettes? No, none of that. Um, I'm just fine. So, my money? Yeah, 20,000 now. That's my kind of man. I really need this money, you know. So, what's the name? Martin's Dent. Martin's Dent. Mr. Dent, you're pushing a dead end here. FG, the guy behind the setup, is dangerous and badly destructive. Just hope you know what you're doing. Because if FG finds out you're after him, he's not going to spare your life. I'm really hot to I need a drink. I'm coming. You sure you don't want a drink? Oh no thanks. I'm fine. Oh no, Nepa! Don't worry. I'll be out in a moment in the candle line. Are you alright? Why is silence? I can't hear you. Are you okay? Hello? Why are you silent? Hello? here in the city. How come something goes wrong wherever I go? Whoever I meet ends up badly. 
I am beginning to think so many people are involved in this setup. Now, who is this guy, FG? The man believed to be the brain behind this. Whoever he may be, he's certainly dangerous and fast. FG. What's the full meaning of these initials? Well, these are things I must find out. But first of all, I'll find out first thing tomorrow morning if that girl, the waitress, is dead or not. Remember one day you're gonna be sad Running in the midnight Playing with the shadows Ooh Every day's for the thief One day for the owner How long will you remain undercover? It's time to go Okay oh. you better turn your life around Turn your life around
sorry, you. It's sorry to bother you. But please, what happened here? Um, someone actually murdered a girl here last night. You know, but her neighbor said they saw a man hurriedly leaving the premises. You know, shortly after the girl screamed. You know, a dark, tall man wearing a cap. Just like a man, just like you. Dark man like you too. Thank you. So strange. the police will not allow me a minute's rest. Since my arrival in this city, they've been on my trail. The last time I saw Super Teza, he gave me 48 hours in which to leave the city and abandon my assignment or face his trouble. My Lord, I need freedom to work. Freedom hey. to carry out these investigations smoothly without police hindrance. Um. Mimi. Why don't you leave this case now? Of what value is this investigation to you now that Janet is dead and buried? Why don't you just let her soul rest in peace instead of this investigation and allowing her name being, being mentioned in every case? Why? I do not care how you feel about it. But this case must go on. I am a judge. You are a politician. And as a judge, I don't think I should let a culprit go unpunished. Mr. Dent, I will have a meeting with the Commission of Police tomorrow morning to discuss this case with him. The police force have no right whatsoever to disturb you from carrying out your duties. Besides, I don't think there's a, a book of law that um, empowers them to stop one from private investigation. I'm sure all that will be sorted out by tomorrow. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, oh, you better turn your life around. Oh, oh, oh. Leave the bad ways behind. Oh, oh, you better turn your life around. Oh, oh, leave the bad ways behind. Oh, oh, come you here. Turn your life around. I am not happy the way your men have been going about harassing Mr. Dent in the course of his duty. I am completely disappointed in the force and in you in particular for being so insensitive towards this issue. But madam, you must know we don't like private investigators in our territory. They end up denting the image of the police by painting us inefficient, which makes the public lose confidence in us. Well, you certainly can't help yourself. The only way you can maintain a good image is by being efficient in your services to the people. Else, they will continue to lose confidence in you. By the way, there is no law book that empowers the police with the right to restrict the activities of a private investigator within your territory. But madam, in a situation where the activities of the private investigator is hampering the public peace, the private investigator is deemed violating and contravening the law, which leads to prosecution. But my investigation has not hampered public peace yet. 
So you lack the power and jurisdiction to put restriction on him. And until such a time that you have enough power or you are armed with enough power to act thus, I will request that you let Mr. Dent alone. Well, Justice Degan, your private investigator will be let alone for now. But we must not hesitate to act contrary as soon as we find him genuinely guilty of any offense committed in the course of his assignment. So be it. Good day, Mr. Commissioner. Oh, oh, you better turn your life around. Oh, and leave the bad ways behind. Mr. Dent, I gave you 48 hours within which to quit your job and leave the city. Well, at last you've given us a chance to force you to quit your job and go to the gallows. Mr. Dent, you're under arrest in connection with the murder of a waitress at Larosa Hotel. She was murdered in her apartment last night. Sorry, your investigation has come to an end. And this is where we draw the curtain. Excuse me. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Please hold on. It may interest you to speak with your CP, the Commissioner of Police. Hello? Yes, sir! Yes, sir. No, he hasn't been arrested yet. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Now, let me tell you, Mr. Dent. Don't you think you've won? Because we'll meet again. receptionist of the Plaza Hotel. I'm sure she's hiding something. In fact, I doubt the Plaza Hotel and La Rosen Hotel. They must have something to do with the death of Janet Degger. That means this guy, FG, must be a very powerful guy. Question is, who then is FG? What are his full names? certain Janet Degas killers cannot escape my grip. I must fish him out, even if he's in the sky or the bottom of the deep blue ocean. Dent here. Could we please meet this evening at the Silver Garden by 5 p.m. in connection with the murder of late Janet Dega? My name is Oscar Otinga. Do we have a deal? Uh, yes, well, but. Um... Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Dent. 
See you then. Hello? 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 Oscar Tinga. Oh, yeah. Pleasure meeting you. My pleasure. Please sit down. Where do we talk? It is very important we talk in an exclusive place. This could be very dangerous, okay? I'll suggest my hotel room. It's the best bet. Perfect. So who is Oscar Otinga and why would you be doing this knowing fully well that this is dangerous? Oscar Otinga is a former classmate and a secret admirer to the late Janet Dega. Well, I'll let you into the rest when we get to your hotel room, okay? Though his real name is Foga, he is best known as FG. He belongs to a deadly mafia organization called God Knows What. He has always had his ways with women because of his charming looks. Mr. Dent, this guy is damn dangerous. You have to be extremely careful with him. I hate him with a passion. He became my enemy the very moment I discovered he was dating my dream girl, Janet, whom I admired secretly, until she finally died without my letting her know. Painful, you may say. I had made up my mind to tell her of my love for her that evening when I suddenly heard she committed suicide. Mr. Dent, I know and I am cock sure Janet did not and will not commit suicide. She was brutally murdered by that punk, F.G. Foger. Why do you think differently when everyone else has accepted that she committed suicide? Because a similar incident had happened twice in the past involving F.G. Foger and two other girls whom he dated. The two girls, both of them, died in similar circumstances. And the police, just like this one, discarded the two cases as suicide cases and closed the files. Besides, F.G. Foger is generally a dangerous guy. A lot of people know about this. He's been linked with several crimes on campus. For heaven's sake, Mr. Martins, Janet had no reason or reasons to commit suicide. This girl was young, brilliant, intelligent, full of life, carefree. She was rich and comfortable. The parent took very good care of her. Above all, Janet was a very happy girl. Why would she even think of committing suicide? She wouldn't even dare it. Why would you say that? As much as I know, Janet Dega had phobia for height. Do you have any reasons to believe that F.G. Foga murdered Janet and the other two girls? Mm, I should think it has to do with his mafia organization. Or maybe he's just a stupid lunatic killer for his selfish interest. But to be precise, it's hard to define a reason for now. Now this F.G. Foga, is he still in school or something? No, no. He just graduated two months ago after spending seven good years for a four-year course. You can't believe it. But I'm quite certain he's still around town lodging at the Plaza Hotel where he's been lodging throughout his undergraduate years. Oscar, yeah. tell me, how much would you want to be paid for undertaking this dangerous assignment? Paid, did you say? Come on, Mr. Martins. I don't want anything in return. Not even a penny. I am doing all these things for Janet. I loved that girl. 
All I want is to make sure she gets justice, even in death. Okay, see, look. LG Foga had been smart for a while now. But I tell you, even if it's gonna cost me the last drop of my blood, I wanna make sure he doesn't get away with this one. Not on my life. Unbelievable. Justice Mimi Dega would want to hear this. So, where do we start from? First things first, we have to be sure that FG Foga is still at that hotel. Yeah. And for us to do that, we need to have a close contact in there. That's the hotel where the, the murder happened. So we can investigate internally. I don't know, there's something about that hotel. Just something about that hotel. I just can't place my hand on it yet. I can't point it out. Then, for a smooth job, you may have to check into the hotel. I tried. Tried that. But the hotel authority found out who I was and refused me access into the hotel for no particular reason. I don't know. I, I want to believe that the hotel authorities have something to do with FG Folger. Then I have an idea. I think I should check into the hotel with your luggages. Then later, you come join me disguised. What about that? Brilliant idea. That means we have a deal. Yes, who's that? Good morning, Mr. Dent. Oh, good morning, Mr. Manager. I'm sorry, you have to check out. The hotel management is no longer comfortable with your stay here. Why? You see, ever since your arrival in this hotel, the hotel has been under constant harassment by the police and several other unfriendly looking visitors. And this is causing panic among other guests. I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience this might cause you. I'm sorry, but that is management decision. Excuse me. Thank you. How may I help you? Yeah, I need an accommodation around here. All right. Just so. Uh, check this. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. Okay, yeah. the second one. Yeah, sure. That's 6,500. Right. I'm going to write to you. One of your guests. What's the guest's name? FG Foga. FG Foga. Yeah. Does he know you're coming? Sure. And your own name is what? Angela. Angela. Just hold on. Thank you. Hello, sir. Yeah, there's one Miss Angela here to see you. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Might you just walk straight ahead, room 20? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I'm sorry. Beautiful girl. Can you just sign here?
Oh, the mommy bought it for you from London. Mommy's mm -hmm. girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You can just settle for anything. That's, that's really, so anything, don't mind. show you some interesting things mm. you can wait to see eh? <laughs> come on girl Ooh. Oh, you better turn your life around Ooh. Oh, leave the bad ways behind Ooh. Oh, you better turn your life around Ooh. Welcome, sir. Please, I am here to see one of your guests, uh, Mr. James. James Hope. Okay, and your name, sir? My name is Frank O'Hari. All right, just hold on a bit, sir. Yes, sir. Um, there's one Mr. Frank O'Hari here to see you, sir. All right. Okay. Room 19, sir. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Right on time. Edge you just left the hotel 30 minutes ago. Oh god. So let's move fast. Where are those things? Inside. Bring them. Let's go. Hurry up. Thank you. 
There is no way Janet could have written this. She had no boyfriend. Mimi, for heaven's sake. Why are you behaving like this? This letter proves the point. Your daughter was fooling around. I beg your pardon, Thomas. Mimi, do you know what I think your problem is? You believe that your daughter was an angel. Why don't you wake up to reality and stop fooling around? Oh, oh, you better turn your life around. Oh, oh, leave the bad ways behind. Oh, oh, you better turn your life around. Oh, oh, leave the bad ways behind. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Then you will know from this picture that your daughter was, was not an angel after all. Oh no. This is the same fellow, F.G. Foga. have to accept this threat. This wasn't the original game plan, and you know it. You have completely derailed from the aim of this setup. Jack, man, I practically do not understand why FG is withholding the truth from us. For Christ's sake, we are into this together. So I insist that FG should tell us the truth. For crying out loud! Why are you guys forcing me to accept what I did not do? Why? No, tell me! Fine. It is true I killed Juliet. Because she was double dating one of my pals. I warned her, but she wouldn't listen. I caught her red-handed. I had no choice than to slash her throat. Similarly, I killed Francisca because she was sleeping around with my enemy. I had to, I had to put a hole on her head. Guys, the police believe that they committed suicide. But guys, I, I, I really want you to, to, to believe me. I did not kill Janet Degger. I guess she committed suicide as well. Are you guys there? Or Come on, save us the stress. Why not tell us the truth and stop this argument? I wonder. <laughs> Foga, we all know that you killed Janet Degger. What? Yes, you did. You killed Janet Degger because you wanted to take a revenge against the mother, Justice Mimi Degger who presided over a criminal case that sentenced your old man to death two years ago. <laughs> you promised you were going to do it. And today, you're a fulfilled man. But let me tell you something. Don't ever think you are fooling Jack nor I. I mean, we are your pals, aren't we? Let him, let him tell us the truth. You know we can do just anything for you. All we just want is for you to tell us the truth. 
And in case you have forgotten, Justice Mimi Dega will not hesitate to slam a death sentence on you the moment that desperate cop catches up with your local ass. And man, as it is now that I am talking to you, I and Jack, we are backing off. Completely off. We are backing off. We are completely off. A pig that looks innocent at home is always a terror in the bush. So for the very last time, Foga, did you kill your girlfriend, Janet Degger, or not? Yes, I did. Maybe I, I, I shouldn't have done it. But justice, Mimi Degger deserves it. What? Because she asked for it. I could just sit down there and order my dad to be slaughtered just like a guinea fowl. No, tell me, Johnny. Tell me. Give me that stupid piece of shit, my friend. Is that why you have to go to such a ridiculous place? Come back, man. Come back, my friend. The moment that desperate cop, Martin's Dent catches up with your local ass. And then, as it is now, I and Jack here, we are packing off. We are off completely. Completely. A pig that looks innocent at home is always a terror in the bush. So for the last time, FG, did you kill your girlfriend, Janet Degger, or not? Yes, I did. What? Maybe I shouldn't have done it. But justice, Mimi Dega deserves it! What? Because she asked for it. I could just sit down there and order yes. my dad to be slaughtered just like a guinea yes. fowl. No, tell me, Johnny! Tell me! Give me that stupid piece of shit, my friend! Is that what? <laughs> I hate that punk. I'll drink to this success. You know what, Mr. Martins? I want to really, really thank you so much. I am so glad that at last that punk will be brought to book. I want to thank you, Oscar, for helping me get to this level so far. Ah, come on. You did a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, you better turn your life around. A pig that looks innocent at home is always a terror in the bush. So for the last time, FG, did you kill your girlfriend, Janet Degger, or not? Yes, I did. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. But justice, Mimi Dega deserves it! What? Because she asked for it. I could just sit down there and order my dad to be slaughtered just like a guinea fowl. Don't tell me, Johnny! Tell me! Give me that stupid piece of shit, my friend! Is that why you have to go to such a ridiculous place? Come man! Look at what you're... Justice Mimi Dega, have you watched the video clips of the FG Vegas confession? I am ashamed of myself and of course the entire police department. You have unraveled what the police could not unveil. But I'm assuring you that the police will continue from where Martin stand stopped to show that this boy be apprehended in the next 24 hours and be brought to justice. 
Thank you, Commissioner. Bad ways behind, bad ways behind. Ooh. 